we talk about fancy people on this show. One thing I was uh, thinking, the differences between our cultures. I feel like when fancy people, and I'm sorry to uh, upset any fancy people with this statement, but I feel that like if, if you're fancy, having a parent or your parents die. Awesome. Hits. And that's true. You get all these gifts. It's like well, the biggest Christmas okay. when your parents now, die if you're fancy. <laughs> it's like mega Christmas. If you're super rich and your parents die, even if you're real close to them, and obviously it don't hit, now you got a boat. Exactly. Which hits. Nothing bad's going to happen. And it's like that It's like that, that old Louie bit about how like when you have money, you get paid money to have, have money. money. But yeah. if you don't have money, it costs money to not, not have, have money. money. Yeah. And that's so true. And it's the same thing with having your parents die. On that note, I want to share a personal anecdote. This is how trash I am. This is how on the opposite end of the spectrum of fancy I am. So... I was uh, raised mostly by my father because uh, my parents split up and my mama found out about Oxy's, which really hit for her. And Oxycontins, by the way, for anybody that's not yeah. used to the nomenclature. She was selling them and stuff, went to jail a couple times, whatever. Me and my mama are cool now, but you know, it was a whole thing. But uh, when they got divorced when I was seven, my mama got custody of us because that's just literally automatically How that what happened. Yeah, Like that... At that time, especially in that part of the world, it's still it was like now the mo- the mother just gets the kids. Yeah, dude, like, not straight up, dude, not for matter. nothing. Like that's still. I don't know if it's really exactly how it works, but nowadays, still, and it's in the South at least, when you hear that like some a woman lost custody of her kids, you're like, God damn, what she was must she been doing? doing some shit. Love my mama, but she was doing some shit. I know and she <laughs> that's still, what I'm and saying. She still got custody of us, but. We, from the very beginning, stayed with my dad all the time because, you know, she she was busy. Doing some, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And so we stayed with my dad pretty much all the time. So pretty quickly, my dad decided, I ain't giving her ass no child support. Right. I'm and- the one supporting these kids. But the thing is, in redneck culture, we don't fuck with the law or lawyers Courts, or the court. Please. Court don't hit. You don't do anybody that. that which is any why it's type so, of red tape. Which is why it's so ironic that rednecks are so fucking tight with it's cops just nowadays. So it's like, when dude. the fuck did that happen? Yeah. So my dad just stopped paying child support because he was like, fuck that. Yeah. I support They're them. They're here. They're yeah, here every right. night. And that went on for years and years. And then when I was in high school, it's something because, you know, child support like goes through the state. So at some point, the state of Tennessee called up, I guess, and was like, motherfucker, you ain't been paying child support for 10 yeah. years, yeah. you know? And we he taxed got, that, I and guess, he got, right? like, sued by the state, yeah. you know? And immediately he told him, he's like, yeah, I haven't been paying it because I've been supporting them this whole time. Yeah. They've been living with me. Me and my sister both, we had to go to court, like, give signed statements as kids and stuff yeah. and say, no. We're living with him. He's been supporting us. Right. You know, they were like, "Okay, we're not going to put you in jail because yeah. we get it, but we gonna need that. You need to pay all this back." And he was like, "Well, I don't have no. Tell him I ain't got it." You right. know, I was like, "I don't. I don't have all because yeah. at this point, it's tens of thousands of dollars. Of course, right?" And he was like, "I ain't got it." And so they said, "All right, well, what can you give?" And he was like, "Well, I fucking, I don't know." $25 a month or something. And they were like, yeah, we'll take it. Right. Whatever. And that settled it. And that was the end of it. And he had to pay $25 a month after that. In so, perpetuity forever. In perpetu- like literally, literally forever. Literally, it would have been forever. We got to get something yeah, well, from But they you. start at this big number. And then you're like, well, right. I can't do that. And then you go down and they go, oh, well, you can just do that. And it's like, so you don't even really. So it, it doesn't so, matter. So really, it didn't even cost that. So fast forward 10 years later or whatever, my dad gets pancreatic cancer and dies in 2013. I'm the fucking oldest son. I got to fucking handle all this shit or whatever. But there was not much shit to handle. My dad was poor. There wasn't an estate or anything. And uh, so I was just basically canceling his fucking cable subscriptions and stuff like that, you know. And then I get a call one day from the state of Tennessee that's like, are you Trey Crowder? Yeah. So you are the son of Terry Crowder, recently deceased. Yes. Yes. And they were like, well, you know, your dad still owed the state of Tennessee however many tens of thousands of dollars. And I was like, yeah, I know. For child support, right? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, yeah. Well, there ain't nothing, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. And they were like, okay, but there's a house, right? The house I grew up in. They were yeah. like, there's a house. And I was like, yeah, there's a house. 
And they were like, well, so here's what you can do. We'll help you out. We'll help you we'll out. We'll help you out. We'll help you out. Here's what you can do. You can sell that house and you can pay us back from the house money and you can keep the rest of it, yeah. you know, whatever. Which, dude, it's like my house. It was the equivalent of like a double wide trailer, but just a house. It, right. And it's in Salina, Tennessee. And not the, the property value. It that is you... not worth much. So I was like, I was like, okay, so that house now goes to me. We both acknowledge that. They were like, yeah. I was like, I'm the executor of the estate, even yeah. though there isn't an estate. You're the puke of so Cambridge. I'm, so I'm, yeah. So I'm responsible for this. So we're like, yeah, that's why we're talking to you. And I was like, so what you want me to do? is you want me to sell the house that I grew up in and take half of the proceeds and pay y'all back for my own child support. That's what you're asking me for right now? Mm -hmm. And I swear to God, the lady on the phone was like, uh... Yeah. Can we call you back? Yeah. And I was like, I was like, yeah. No one's ever and said it like yeah, that right. before. I got a call <laughs> the next day from some manager dude or whatever with the state who was basically like, again, to their credit, probably because I'm white, I imagine. Of course, bro. To their credit was just like, he was just like, yeah, listen. We just gone. You don't have to worry about it's that. It's all right. Which I, even, even though I'm white, I still, I still can't I, believe that happened I, I, that way. I, I can't I either. I still cannot believe that they weren't like, listen. Because at least you to, were still poor. You're going to have to handle it some way. Right. You know? But like, they that's actually not, listened to, me, that's, to reason and were like, yeah, we're not going to make you pay your own fucking child right, support. Right, because like, uh, this is another one of those situations where it's like, I didn't know that red tape was so easily pulled up like that. Right. And I still can't believe that they weren't just like, yeah, I hear you, but like. Yeah, you're what, gonna have to pay your own child. Support. You're gonna have to pay your own you, child. Support. The state of Tennessee has a bill that's due, and yeah. it's got your name on it. Sorry, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna make you the protagonist in a Willie Nelson song. You're your own <laughs> grandpa.